Okay, so we're going to show the rear naked choke from the back take. Okay, so <clears throat> the way we're setting up this rear naked choke is uh, we're going to have our hooks in. We're gonna have back control here, so it's chest to chest. I wanna stay tight with my opponent because the more space I make, the more opportunity they have to turn and rotate and face me. So I wanna eliminate as much space as I can here, and I wanna stay tight. My bottom hand is going over my top hand, and the reason for this is uh, if he grabs my top hand here, my hand can shoot immediately to the neck. If it's reversed here and he pulls this off, well, he's just slowed the process down for me by a lot. So what I wanna do is keep my hands connected, bottom over top here. And what I wanna do is initially start with my head pushing on his head here. Because again, if his head's free to move, he can connect his uh, back of his head to the ground, and now I've lost the choke altogether. So, when we're here, my hips are in tight, my chest is tight. I'm here, bottom hand over the hand here, and it's a very tight seat belt grip. So it's like a click it or ticket. I'm in here tight, I wanna go ahead and push the head immediately. He's gonna realize that if I want his back long enough, I'm gonna choke him. So he's gonna make his best attempt to escape. So when he's here, he can uh, even go ahead and drop, but as I, he does this, I take this hand and I free it. I go immediately to his neck, uh, but even if he tucks his jaw, it doesn't really matter because if I'm here and I make an anchor into his shoulder and I pull, and even if he tries to pull it off here, he's just pulling into his own shoulder, okay? So at this point, I'm, I'm relatively in a good spot to attack, but I need to make a few more adjustments. So when I'm here, I'm pushing the head into his head here, I'm grabbing and I'm curling my elbow back to here, so I'm um, pulling my, my elbow back. I'm gonna take this bottom arm and I'm gonna get pull it up, okay? So when I get it out from under him, now I can attack. But the problem is if I shoot my arm straight like this, he's gonna arm bar me, tap. It's very embarrassing to get submitted for if you've already have the back. You work so hard for this, you want to finish. So I'm here, I keep the pressure on his head, I pull it out. So if I'm here, I just pull and keep the pressure on the back of his head, and I lift up, and as I'm going to do an elbow strike to his shoulder, I drop and I smash here, okay? So I'm not exposing my arm, extending here. I'm dropping on his shoulder, and when we're here, this hand opens up, and just to show for demonstration, I'm going to grab my bicep here, okay? I'm going to grab the belly of the bicep and I'm going to curl back and go behind his head. So when I'm here and I'm grabbing the shoulder, this arm comes up and out and I elbow strike down. My hand wraps over the bicep belly here and I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to go behind his head and I'm not going to put my palm on his hand. I'm going to put the back of my hand on his head here. Sorry about that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep my head controlling pressure here and I'm going to breathe in deep and extend for the tap, okay?